Here they are in all their glory. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is morning, today is the day that the puppies are going home, left my sprinklers on so my grass is really wet, and um, I'm not matching, that's neither here nor there, bittersweet day, but I felt like for today's video, um, to commemorate the puppies, I would uh, tell you a little bit about each one, introduce each one. Even though you've been seeing videos of them, look up the week. And they are attacking my shirt. I let them bully me. Okay, so who should we start with? This little girl right here. Say hi. Hi. She was the first one born. She is the lightest of our litter. And she just so spunky. She is so smart. She's the only one that knows how to use our dog door. She's super wiggly. She probably has the best structure of all of the puppies. Gorgeous body. Um, and just built so well. She's just so cute. She was the loudest puppy for the first couple of weeks um, until the blue girl decided to uh, take that title. She would just uh, scream and cry and yip. I'm sorry, this video is very chaotic. So next, second born. So this girl, she is the smallest of our litter and the darkest. She has a really long tail. You can see on her butt, but it's super cute when she wags it. And whenever you hold her, she does the Superman thing. I, she's always done that. This is her. She was the first one to learn how to crawl out of their puppy pen. And she's probably the friendliest and has the, the spunkiest personality. She's like a little spitfire. Even though she's like the smallest, she's probably the biggest bully. She's going home to a little five-year-old, so that's, that's exciting third one. This is gonna take two hands. So this is Blue Girl. She is our biggest puppy. She is ginormous. Look at her compared to the other girls. Just huge. She's got a long tail as well. I looked out. Half of them have short tail, half of them have um, a long tail. Mom has no tail, the dad has a longer tail. She is a very, very independent. She was the first one to like really learn how to nurse. That's probably why she's so big. She just mowed over those other puppies. Um, and she is probably um, the hardest one to wean out of all of the puppies because she just loved mama's milk. <laughs> and Stella lets her keep bailing it. She's a crowd favorite. My nieces and my sister and um, most of friends and family seem to really like this one. Um, <laughs> she's super cute. Um, and she's, yeah, she was, it's funny because all the puppies were blue when they were born and she was just very dark. So we were happy that we got a little blue girl. Yeah, so cute. Glass. Come here, my little princess. So I know I've been saying I don't have a favorite, but I might be kind of lying. She's kind of like, has a good mix of, of all good qualities. So here she is. She does not like <laughs> being held like that. Why do you have to look so scared? So maybe I should show you. She's got a little mohawk on her neck. She was the last born and she was saved by me. She, when she was born, her sack had already opened. She was not in a sack. When she was born, she was gasping for air and I just had to work on her because um, she was really struggling to breathe. And um, I had to work on her for about an hour to clear her fluids and her lungs and everything. I, it, I mean, she was just engorged with gunk. I. Um, I know this is kind of graphic, but um, as you can tell, she's the sweetest. She loves to cuddle. 
she loves my lap every time i come outside she is the one that follows me around and sits by me and wants me to hold her and wants to be around me she's also my husband's favorite if there was any puppy in the litter that i would want to keep it would be this one her little mohawk is just so cute i just love sitting here and stroking it while she eats my fingers <laughs> So that's about it for, you know, this last chapter. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I might post some more videos about the journey and some things that I learned. But in the meantime, hoping that their homes love them as much as I do. I know I'm going to cry. I don't want to talk too much sentimental stuff right now because I haven't even left my house and it's been difficult to not cry. But enjoying having them. All right, guys. <laughs> My little girls.